It is fantastic to be here tonight and to share this evening with you. This weekend, I returned from an incredible three weeks from my belated honeymoon in Europe. You may have noticed that I've changed my name from last year, as I was incredibly fortunate to marry the love of my life, David Swain, on Australia Day this year. In my time in Europe, I was provided with a wonderful opportunity to recharge and reflect on the past 12 months in preparation for tonight. Many days away were spent walking through enchanted old lanes that reminded me of the pathways that we, that we all take to lead us through our life and our career. For those of you that have travelled through Europe, I'm sure that you've spent time exploring similar laneways and can see right now the way that they twist and they turn, the way that the walls are so high that they almost block out the sun, how easy it is to become lost and go down the wrong track more than a couple of times, particularly if I have the map. And the ways that those pathways become so narrow and then open up again to grand, expansive plazas. But like my last year, you explore these pathways and you see things you didn't expect. You meet new people, you learn so many new things, you receive experience and guidance from incredible people just when you really need it the most. But most of all, you have a lot of fun on the journey, a journey that may be slightly different that you had planned, but what you find is so much more than you could have ever imagined, and you become so much richer for the experience and end up in an amazing new location. My pathway over the past 12 months has been filled with challenges, changes, and celebration. The year has been filled with many interesting pathways, a couple of detours, and I thank all of the people close to me, my family, my friends, my behind closed doors network led by Donnie Walford, who have helped me navigate through the laneways till they opened up for me to discover a grand plaza. I'm proud to tell you about the Grand Plaza I discovered on this journey. When I set a goal this year to transition me from a role as CEO in the not-for-profit sector, which I was appointed to at the age of 28 when I became one of the youngest CEOs in the country, to today, a proud business owner. I have established Explore Potential Consulting in March this year, where I work with CEOs and executives across a variety of sectors to link strategy to people and bring visions and organisational plans to life. I'm very excited about the pathway that I'm currently on that has enabled me to work with inspirational leaders and to contribute to a variety of organisations and leadership journeys. I am delighted to inform you that I was notified just last week that my, my path in the next year will lead me to the United Nations where I'll be representing Australia at the 2015 Commission for the Status of Women in New York City. Thank you. I would like to congratulate Telstra for celebrating and recognising women's leadership and business success for 20 years. Last night, I had the privilege of meeting tonight's finalist, and I know that the Telstra Business Women's Awards and the process you've been through has already brought you so much. In particular, it has provided a rare opportunity to pause and truly reflect on the pathways that have brought you to this stage and the qualities that make you truly exceptional leaders. With the busy pace of life, we are constantly looking forward to the next goal, the next opportunity, or the next role. To reflect is a true gift and I hope that you've enjoyed and celebrated it. For you to be acknowledged tonight in front of your family, your friends and colleagues is a truly special moment and I share that excitement with you. My final message is tonight to women and to young women in leadership roles as you navigate your pathways in life are be connected, take risk, identify your passion and follow it and never ever fear failure. Thank you very much. <laughs>